Well, with that gentleman that turned up, you know, he turned up to meet a 12-year-old girl, bringing cigarettes, wine, you know, and what the media and what the pub what the public don't really know is this man had serious mental health issues, like, and I wasn't aware of that, but presumably once he was arrested, the police would have known about this. The man was on police bail at the time. The man chose to take his own life. Yes, I feel sorry for his son, mm. but other than that. But don't you make the point there yourself by saying that by enticing him in... I don't entice you him You didn't... Know, well, he... by... by... Yeah. by dangling the bait... Yeah. Um, that... that you weren't to know that he had mental issues. No. No. And so, therefore, he was, in his own way, um, vulnerable. But, but you the police should have that. taken care of that. He'd been arrested, he was... On, the police released him on bail, you know, the coroner's court, this is what gets my back up about this whole thing, the coroner's court never mentioned me. The media tried to ambush me with it, not mentioned in court, not mentioned in the coroner's court. There is no link other than the fact that I caught him trying to meet a 12-year-old girl. Mm. The CPS said that with the evidence that got, there was enough to charge him and they were going there to is, charge him. I mean, him. there is a major issue in terms of safety for people who have got allegations against child sex offenders against them. I've had two people during the time when I was a police officer, one jumped off a bridge, one immediately after bail, the school teacher drove down to Beachy Head and jumped off Beachy Head. Big national inquiry resulted from it, but actually as a direct result of his arrest led to a national schools inquiry. We went and searched a load of public schools and prosecuted a load of offenders. So it's the most abhorrent crime. It's a crime that the public hate, and because of that, people often feel there is no escape from that. And I think the problem is, is that you've got a position whereby, evidentially-wise, you've got to secure, and the police will say this to you, and they have said this yeah. to you, is that by going and, and outing these people in the way you have, you're potentially preventing evidence from being secured. Yeah. And most importantly, you don't know what contact that individual has with other potential children. But listen, it's a learning curve. I think what you've done is really, really great. I think you've raised the issue. I haven't seen the whole of the programme, yeah. but you obviously raised if, the if, issue. If it